What's up, guys? Got a special treat for you. Jonathan with Tactical Toolbox. And if you guys have been following me um, throughout this uh, Built Not Bought series, we've been building a 7.5 inch um, AR pistol that's chambered in 5.56 5, and 2.23. And with that, I've been kind of just going over the parts and uh, some of the how to's on building an AR pistol or AR rifle if you want to. Um, I'm also going to put a link down in the descriptions below so you can see a incomplete parts list. Um, there will be affiliate links with that. So thank you guys so much for your support. But today we're going to be reviewing the uh, bolt carrier group um, from Aero Precision. And this one's the Nickel Boron. And I think there's a few things about it that you guys need to know about. Um, so let's get right into this, guys. Uh, first off. This thing is amazing. I literally just went to the range, came back, haven't cleaned it, and I didn't even run hardly any oil in it. I wanted to see how it performed. Because one of the claims to fame with nickel boron is that it is it has a natural lubricity about it, and it is very smooth to the touch. But what we're going to do is we're just going to go over the little intricacies about it, and I gotta tell you guys, I'm super impressed with this bolt. I mean, this thing is pretty much dry as a bone. Let me put this down. I mean, let me get my uh, microfiber. Hang on, I gotta go get some microfiber, be right back. All right, got the microfiber here. And, and straight up, like there's like no oil on this. And I'm gonna show you, it might be a little bit dirty, but yeah, uh, okay. So let me show you this part of the towel. See, this part of the towel is very bright yellow. And I'm just going to wipe along this back side here. Um, nothing coming off on it. We're going to wipe it here, here. Uh, maybe, no, nope, still nothing. Now, towards the front, I there is a little bit that you guys can see. But I've been super impressed with this bolt carrier group. Um, what's interesting about this is the carrier, I believe, is made out of a carpenter steel. Let me look. So the carrier is made out of 8620 tool steel. The bolt is made out of the 9310 carpenter steel, which is really what you want. Um, it is high pressure tested and magnetic particle inspected. But this thing has been running like a champ. And I have, like I said, look, so little oil on this thing. I mean, I don't even know if you guys can see that. Let's see. I mean, that's that little, little black spot right here or here. That's all the oil that's on it. So let me clean it up and let's go up close and we'll see actually how well this thing cleans up and if it does clean up well. And let's take a look at it. All right, everybody. So here we got the nickel boron bolt carrier group from Aero Precision. And I accidentally wiped that one little spot I was showing you guys earlier. But um, this thing is pretty darn clean considering I just ran about, I think I only ran about 50 rounds through it at the range, but let's wipe it up. Let's see how this thing functions and we're going to take it apart and inspect everything, but I'm just going to clean the outside of it right now. That way, um, I got to say guys, this is my first experience. Oh, there's a little spot. Let's see right there. This is my first experience with a nickel boron bolt carrier and, uh, and bolt and so I was really interested to see how impressed I would be and basically I have been it has met every single one of my expectations so let's take this thing apart and see how dirty it got and if so if we need any CLP to uh, clean it so get that out Take that out. Looks like that uh, firing pin's a little dirty, but that's fine. That's expected. Let's get that out. 
So that piece is a little bit dirty. I mean, I'm not expecting this thing to be clean, but the, the whole claim to fame with these nickel borons is that they wipe clean and you need very little uh, solvent to clean them. So let's get in there. Yeah, see, I just stuck my finger down in here and did that. Very little. And let's see here. All right. So let me find another clean spot on this rag. And we're actually going to test. We're going to wipe on the inside and see how much we can get out of there. So. Not bad. I mean, that's that little spot right there. That's all I got out of that. All right. I would say that this pig is pretty darn clean. So let's take a look at the bolt, which is probably the most uh, important. Well, it is the most important part of this entire of the entire bolt carrier group. There's two things you don't want to cheap out on when you're going to build an AR, guys. Number one is the bolt carrier and bolt. And number two is the barrel. Now, when I say don't cheap out, I'm not telling you to go buy the highest end stuff. I'm just saying... Get some good quality stuff that works, that has a decent reputation. And at the very least, it's high pressure tested and magnetic particle inspected. doesn't matter if it's mil spec um, finish. It doesn't matter if you get the black nitride or the nickel boron. It needs to work. So let's take a look at this. Looks pretty good. I mean, it's got a little carbon on it. But honestly, ARs, they run dirty. They're like Glocks, man. You can... You can run these things dirty as long as they're lubed up. But I will say, this uh, nickel boron coating is on the inside and... Let's see if we can get a pick of that. Let's see. There we go. It's chrome lined inside and out. The gas keys... Not chrome lined. Sorry. It's nickel boron coated inside and out. Gas key included. The bolt as well. Um... The bolt will show the most carbon buildup just because this experiences the most heat where the gases are. But let's take a look at this firing pin. All right. So this is probably the dirtiest part of the entire deal here. Right there. So let's clean this up. Let's see how it does with just a quick wipe off. All right. So... There is a little bit of carbon buildup down in this ridge down in here. And that I'll have to scrape off probably with, and uh, put some CLP on it. But aside from that, this thing looks brand spanking new. And I will say overall, I've probably got close to about six or 700 um, rounds through this bolt carrier. And I've had zero failures, zero extraction issues, zero cycling issues. Nothing has been a problem with this bolt carrier group. So I do highly recommend this because one, it does exactly what Aero Precision says it will do. So today we ran it with very little or hardly any lube on it. And they said, hey, our nickel boron coating requires hardly any or no oil. Now there is still a little bit of residue oil on the inside of my uh, uh, upper here, but that's fine. I mean, I didn't want to run it bone dry, but it is nice to know. So let's put, let's take a look at this cloth here, guys. So, um, the, there we go. So we got that off of it, that off of it. All this other stuff was stains from prior. Um, don't know if that came off and there we go. Yep. There's some more. So out of this whole rag, it's not very dirty compared to most bolt carrier groups. Now, obviously I could put a little CLP on this gas. I mean, on the bolt itself, probably get some more off of here, more carbon here and here and off of this little bitty ridge at the bottom of this firing pin. But overall, I'm I'm 100 percent satisfied. And I'm not just saying that because these people send it to me for free. Uh, honestly, guys, I got a review coming up that I'm not too satisfied about. And I got sent the product for free. And so you guys want to stick around for that. It's, it doesn't have to do with the AR, but it is something that I think that the public should be aware of because with this next review, it's something that, oops, wrong one. And this next review I got coming up here soon. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the very next review or the one before that or after that, but, um, basically it was a product I ordered and I don't want to spoil it. So. 
product I ordered. I thought, you know, basically the way everyone on the internet talks and the way the companies that make these parts talk is they're going to make your gun just incredibly accurate. And unfortunately, that's not the case, guys. And I'm not impressed. Don't get me wrong. I don't think the product is getting a bad review, but it's not going to get a hundred percent product, um, 100 percent positive review either, because the only thing that I think there's two things that I think constitute a negative review. Number one, the companies make claims that don't actually work happen. So if they say, Oh, this is going to make your gun more accurate and it doesn't, then we're starting to lean towards the territory of maybe not a negative review, but something that people are should look out for and be aware of. Now, on the other hand, um, what I think constitutes a real negative review is when it compromises your safety. So also, guys, we got a review coming up on the Strike Industries link. Uh, there'll be links in the description for everything here. Um, we're going to do a full review on this blast forwarding device, and then we're going to do the review on this Vortex Razor 6 MOA. Um, they got a 3 MOA and a 6. We got the uh, the 6. And then we're going to do a review on this cool enhanced end plate and castle nut here from Strike Industries. And the iron sights and the charging handle. So we got a lot of stuff to review, guys. So let's go back up top, talk, talk about it a little bit, and then we will... Um, talk to you later. Well, there it is, guys. The this is my 100. Um, this is my review of the nickel boron bolt carrier group from Aero Precision that they sent out to me for this build series. Um, pretty much everything on this AR pistol is Aero Precision because they're freaking awesome people, man. I actually spoke with uh, Brian Deal. Who's the guy I've been dealing with with this whole series? But when we went to Shot Show last week, I actually got to got a chance to meet him and put a face with an email address, and it was really good to meet you, Brian. Um, good news, we're actually going to be doing a 308 build series, I believe so. I have to contact Brian, but that's what he told me at Shot Show. He's like, "Hey, if you want to do anything else like a 308 build, let me know." And I was like, "Let's do it," you know. So we're going to do a 308 build. Um, I do hear a lot of stuff about 308s when people build them that they have some cycling issues or something like that. So we're really going to try to eliminate any cycling issues and stuff like that from building an AR. And we'll talk about things and I'm going to be learning with you guys never built a 308. So I'm not trying to be like, I'm the expert and I'm going to teach you how to be like me. No, basically what this is, is wow. These are a lot of things that I've heard about stuff. Let's learn it together and see what we can do. But Guys, seriously, I think these guys, uh, these nickel boron, let me look. What do these things retail for? These are about, oops, sorry, I think I hit the camera. I got a stabilizer on it, so let's see if this shakes. You guys see a shake? Because it's shaking like a mofo. But I got this, uh, the gimbal stabilizer that I showed you guys in one of my older videos. Because I do hit the table a lot, and then it's like, brrr. So, anywho, uh, these are about $175. Shot peen bolt, uh, high pressure tested, magnetical, magnetical, magnetic particle inspected. And this has met my expectations. Um, like I said, sometimes I get products. I got one coming up that I don't think, I don't think it would meet your guys' expectations either on this next product I got coming up for a review. So stay tuned for that. Um, you guys take care. Thank you guys so much. Um, uh, awesome stuff. We're actually getting to a point where I can almost provide for my family now. <laughs> Uh, using Tactical Toolbox because if you're not just now joining us, I actually recently left my job about a month ago and then they asked me to stay one day a week. So I, I said, okay. And, but I did that to put more time to Tactical Toolbox so that we can bring you guys more reviews, cooler stuff, awesome giveaways. And, um, yeah, that's what I'm here for, guys. I'm just here to learn with you. I'm not an expert and at the same time try to create a living. Uh, you guys take care. I love you. Thank you for subscribing and liking and sharing all the videos and you guys take care.